Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Sunday morning video, 8 a.m., my daily video. So before I get into this, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Really appreciate it if you do so. So today I want to talk about Planet 13, ticker is PLNHF. This is a stock I've held for over a year now, uh, maybe like a year and a quarter. So I've been really quiet in this stock because I was actually buying it really heavily at like the $1.50 to like $1.85 range. I was building my cost base out from maybe like March of last year all the way to like August that it started running just based on like some of the news and some of the cash that available and some of the earnings that were coming out all last year kind of beat expectation. They adapted to what happened and they started to like basically having a successful delivery service really a lot of good things so i kind of held off and was a little quiet about the stock for a while i uh, didn't obviously sell one share of what i own but i did actually average cost up which was a little painful uh, i did it friday it was a little painful to do so just because it's such a big average cost up but i'll tell you why i did it uh obviously in this video so what did i buy it i actually bought it six dollars and 57 cents so not only is that a big difference from where I was originally buying at, but I actually bought 15% more than, you know, like that's like the weight I bought in perspective to how many shares I own. So that's a good bit. I mean, that's, that's heavier than what I normally do. If you watch my previous videos, you know, Tattoo Chef and uh, Corsair Gaming and some other stocks I've been focusing, it's always like eight to 10 or eight, 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 but like 15 is a pretty big jump, especially averaging cost up. So. I don't do that much, but I have to really like what's going on with the company where I think it's gonna go to, for it to make sense. So my cost base was $2.20. The reason is higher than that, I was actually buying a little bit in, maybe it was like September, I was buying it at like the 350, 330 range, because I liked more news. They were smashing earnings. They were, uh, they launched the Orange County, like, you know, date saying like, hey, it's coming out. Uh, it's our second store. So with all that good news, it went up a little. So I average cost it up there before I started making YouTube videos. So that's why my average cost base was this. This is prior to me buying now. So it will go up a little bit, just didn't calculate. I didn't feel like doing it myself. It's probably gonna be in the three, you know, the mid threes if I had to guess, just cause it's such a big difference. Why did I buy? The second store's coming live or going live in July. I just wanna get in before, uh, you know, it gets even closer to any of the swing traders and day traders and you know, all that stuff will pour in the stock and then it will kind of mess me up because I'm in it for the long term. So I want to make sure I build my position out as much as possible based on the news. So it did run up to like seven something last week or the week prior. And I didn't want to buy at all time highs. I, and I knew there wasn't any crazy good news recently. And they might just be riding the hype on like it, you know, going live in August and there's a lot of good news going on. But there was no reason to buy on that that high peak. So I waited for it to come down and you know, that's kind of what I pulled the trigger out obviously this week. So yeah, the Orange County location is live in July. I just said that. And uh, I think that's a big reason why they're going to get hyped. That's, that's big for a lot of reasons. Just in short, one, it's a second location. Two, there are hundreds of employees that are going to work there. Three, they can then distri distribute their product to other locations or other stores in California. So, because it's not federally legal, you can't trade across state lines. Their first store, their big first superstores in Nevada. So they can't distribute to anyone in California. So this is big, not because you're having a second store, but the fact that you can actually ship now, you know, within the state. So obviously the total address addressable market for their own branding and stuff like that is huge. So with all that going on and, and it happening in July, I just wanted to buy some now or average cost up, what do you say? Will I buy more? Yes, I would, but I'm not gonna buy any more if it floats around the 650 range. The price points I wanna buy at, honestly, if it goes to 475, I'm gonna load the boat basically. If it goes to 575, I'll probably buy some more but I don't, I'm not really interested in the 650. I just wanted to build it a little bigger because again, like I said, my average cost was 220. I like what I hear, you know what I'm hearing. It was floating around at $5 when all this news was coming a couple weeks ago and I just didn't do it. I wish I did. If it goes back down there, I'll probably buy. And if I do, I'll make a video obviously and how much I bought and what percentage. 
that way you know so you can kind of get a gauge on how heavy I built my position based on the cost base. So yeah, that's all I got. Um, this is a quick one, but yeah, Plant 13, really bullish on this, one of my three MJ stocks. Uh, really like it. Uh, I think it's gonna do big things in the next couple years. Massive potential, potentially a 10X, especially if it gets federally legal. So I definitely wanna be in the space, really excited about it. You have an advantage being an individual stock picker if you're doing something like this, because it's not federally legal. Therefore, the, you know, the hedge funds and all, and you know, all the big guys can't get in it yet because it's not federally legal. So you have a real big advantage here buying before it's federally legal. And it will get there one day. When? I don't know. It could be a year. It could be five years. So I'm willing to wait though. So that's all I got. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, peace.